What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris. And today I got a different kind of haul video for you. Um, I decided it was time for Chris to get some new makeup. I'm getting bored with everything that I have and I got a lot, but I don't want it anymore. I wanted to start with something new and fresh and on trend and so I decided I'm going to go to Sephora and I'm going to do a little shopping. So that's what I did. And I just got home a little while ago. So I'm going to go through my bag here and show you what I hauled. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm so excited. I love getting new makeup. Who else out there likes to get new makeup? It's fun. It's like, I don't know, it's just like change and it's fun. So, I did purchase a couple things online, so those aren't in boxes. And then I felt like, no, I need to actually go to the store and get some of these other things because I needed to see them better. So, here's my bag. All right. So, We'll get started with all the samples that I got. Yeah, you get samples from Sephora too. All right, so we've got some perfume samples. I like perfume samples. This is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Now I do like Dolce & Gabbana. Um, I have my very favorite of them from them is just it's called Dolce and it's got a beautiful bottle and it's like flowers on top and then the water the perfume inside is like a green color because they came out with a few other Dolce's like different versions and for the summertime it's just beautiful so this, this one smells like that dry down a minute all right so we got devotion dolce and gabbana light blue i do know what that one smells like um super goop unseen sunscreen 40 spf and then we've got another this is versace uh dylan turquoise is this a man's cologne? I'm not sure. I don't know, but it's one of those ones that's like got like a little wet piece inside, so I don't want to open that. Then we've got Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. Oh, I'll try this. That's nice for a, a gentle exfoliation on your skin. Um, by Sunday Riley. Good Jeans Sunday Riley. I'll try that. Um, Dr. Dennis Gross, Advanced Retinol and Furilic, uh, Triple Correction Eye Serum. I got the Inky List, Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. Now, I have just recently switched all my, I did, I made a switch with my skincare too. Um, I got rid of all the skincare that I was previously using. I've always taken care of my skin. I've, oh God, since I was like 20. I mean, it's never been a, a neglect for me, I should say. But I switched over to using Korean Beauty. So I've been buying all Korean skincare and so far I gotta say I love it. In fact, when I went to Sephora tonight, I was the girl was checking foundation shades for me and she's like, oh my God, she says, your skin is so beautiful. And I was like, oh, thank you. She says, it's so like plump and, and cushy. That's Korean skincare. So yeah, I'm really happy with my with my skincare switch. Um, oh, and then we have Dermat Derma Dermalogica um, Daily uh, micro microfoliant. So there's like a powder in here. I think I feel it. And then we got Miss Dior. 
Eau de Parfum, Bloomy Bouquet, and Rose and Roses. Again, they're like the little, what do you call them? Like little wet pieces of like uh, cloth. Um, we got Polish Choice Clinical Discoloration Repair Serum. I don't know if any of you use these things. And we got more Dr. Dennis Gross. Alpha Beta, Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. Step one and two. So we've got Exfoliate and Smooth. And then we have Anti-Aging Neutralizer. So I don't, I'm not sure I will attempt to mix that with my Korean skincare. And then we've got this Clarins uh, Total Eye Lift. A sample of that in there. A lot of skincare stuff here. And then we've got Fenty Skin Starter Set. Comes in a envelope like this. And this is a Total Clean. Total Cleans are uh, Remove It All Cleaner Cleanser. I don't have my glasses on. And we got Fat Water, which is a pore refining toner serum. And I've heard good things about that, actually. And then there's Hydra Visor, uh, Broad Spectrum Mineral SPF Sunscreen Moisturizer. Okay. So let's take a smell of this Dolce & Gabbana scent I just sprayed. Mm, there's a note in there I don't like. Um, so yeah, that would be something I would not get. Um, I don't know what that note is. I've smelled it in wax before and I don't like it. It's like an off-putting note. Um, all it says is candied citrus, orange blossom, and vanilla. It's a bright gourmand is the olfactory family. Yeah, it's not for me. <coughs> That's okay. All right. So let's get into what I purchased. Now, I wanted some new foundation. And I wanted a new under eye concealer. And I ran out of my translucent powder that I usually use. So I needed to do that. Then I wanted to get um, a new mascara. And I wanted to get um, like a lipstick I could wear every day without feeling like, you know, like, oh, there's Chris's lips, you know, when you walk in the room. I don't want anything like that. I wanted something natural, but add a little color to my lips. And I'm going to start using a lip liner too because I got the itty bitty little lips. And if I wasn't afraid, I would get injections, but I'm afraid they won't listen to me and then make me look like, you know, I don't like those big old fat plumpy lips. They look fake. I don't want them to look fake. I just want a little fullness, you know? So I'm afraid to go to the doctor and say, yeah, could you give me some Juvederm in my lips, but don't make them real, you know, I don't want to look like a duck. And I'm afraid they'll make me look like a duck and then I'll be stuck with these lips till the stuff starts to disintegrate. So, yeah. All right. So, I bought from House Labs by Lady Gaga Foundation. Now, I've been hearing really good things about this foundation and I am hoping, I mean, I liked it in the store. She put it on my face. And I liked it, it was really nice. Oh wow, they sealed this up good. Just don't want nobody opening it. And the shade that they gave me was 110 Light Neutral. So, let's see. And I figure in the summertime, if I get any color on my face, I do try to wear sunscreen, you know, when I'm out in the sun. Um, I just put it on the morning after my moisturizer, after my moisturizing routine. Um, I'll just warm it up with a little bronzer if I have to. So yeah, it's 
face size model. And let's see. I don't know if this is a pump. Oh, it's a it's like a wand. So there's the So I got that. Oh, I didn't even see if it has a set. Let's see. Nope. Now what's really nice about um house labs is it's I think it's clean beauty. So there's nothing in here that's, you know, there's a lot of beauty products out there. Things that are questionable whether we should be putting them on our face or not, or anywhere on our body for that matter. Um, but in here, there's a lot of nutrients for the skin as well as just more. It's more than just foundation. It actually helps, you know, um, your skin. It's nourishing. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so I got my foundation. Then I wanted a new um, under eye concealer. I have been using Tarte Shape Tape, oh my God, at least, I'm trying to think, at least 10 years. Um, and, you know, I'm just one to change, you know? So I got, this is the one I picked up was from Huda Beauty and the color I got is Yogurt Drops. I am 1.5B. She suggested I go a little lighter than my foundation. And, uh, so yeah, there's that. Oh, a nice fat doe foot on this one. So, you know, you end up with this overflow of makeup. And the reason I have all this, yeah, underneath my bathroom cabinet is just jammed with containers and makeup bags and of makeup. Because I'll do this here. I'll go on a spree and get all new stuff, but I can't seem to throw away away the old stuff. I mean, foundation, yes, because it just smells rancid. Anything liquidy or creamy sometimes gets stinky, but like the, the, the eye products, I know you're supposed to put them through. I can't throw this stuff away. I can't. It's like so pretty. Anyway, moving on. Now, in addition to the under eye concealer, I also got this from Rare Beauty. This is an under eye illuminator. It's not a concealer. So what this does, and you know who else has a great one too? And I uh, could have bought that one too. Yves Saint Laurent makes a, um, I think it's called Touche Law, and it's an under eye illuminator. And I used to use that years ago and it was beautiful. Um, but I've heard good things about this one from Rare Beauty. Basically, it comes, there's like a metal wand. You would just put this, I'll try to do it on my camera, on your eye, but wherever you wanna bring a little illumination to the eye and just tap it in. And basically what it's supposed to do is just bring a little more light to that area so it illuminates it a bit more. Um, yeah, what do you think? Nice, right? So I got that. Then I got from Fenty, I got one of their contour sticks because I'm tired of using my bronzer to contour. Not that I do a whole lot anyway, but I want to start doing more. So, you know, in here, and I think these cream sticks work so much better. So I got contour stick from Fenty in the color Mocha. And I'll just show you on my hand. Now it's gonna be drastic, right? And then, you know, you just get your brush and you just kind of blend it out and whatnot. 
and it helps to contour here and through the forehead along the nose I need a lot of my nose um, I don't do it all the time because a lot of times I don't have time for all that but if I'm going out or something I will contour this here because you know it's got a big nose okay so I got that then I wanted some new blush and now notice here you haven't seen powder yet because I'm trying to keep things more cream and liquid on my skin because as I'm getting older the powder seems to um, enhance any lines that are on my face so I want to do that more. so from rare beauty I got this um, uh, liquid blush and I think it's called can't remember the name of it pinch your cheeks or something and I got it in the color happy and it's like a pretty it's a neutral pink I will show you and this is like yeah I gotta take it out easy because it, it's got a big big doe foot now I would not put this right on my skin because this is so pigmented I mean a little dot I'm gonna put a little dot on my hand that this little dot is more than enough to do your cheek maybe even too much so I'll just pat that out a little bit and it's just a nice flush of yeah, see the camera's not really picking it up. And plus I put it over that bronzer, so it's not really a good a good representation of what the color is. So I'll do it on my other hand. I just love this stuff, you guys. This makes me so happy. Oh, and that's the name of the color I got. Happy. Alright, so. Out a little bit so I don't know if you get a little bit better picture there so it's like a peachy pink and yeah I can see it much better in yeah up close here it's not I think the lights blowing it out or the lens is just not capturing it okay so that's my blush then I wanted to pick up a highlighter. I have so many highlighters, but they're all powder highlighters. I don't want powder. Again, I'm trying to stay away from anything that's going to settle in my fine lines. Um, and I do the best I can to soften those lines with my skincare and you know what over the years I have to say it's worked for my age I don't have a lot of wrinkles yet but they're there like you know my forehead um and I just can't you know I have gotten Botox before I'm not gonna lie um about I want to say eight years ago I did it for a little bit and I also had filler done here because I was really thin at the time so these lines we call them puppet lines in my family were real prominent because my face was so thin and so I had filler done here and I had some Botox in the forehead I didn't have the 11s at that time but I, I kind of got them now um, and for the money you spend on the Botox and you got to go every four months, I don't know. I'd rather buy makeup and wax. Just saying. Um, I would do the Juvederm again here. If I lost enough weight, that I would do filler because filler lasts a long time. Not a long time. You get up to a year with filler. Um, basically the the uh, 
plastic surgeon I went to for that. He, you buy the, however many, it comes in a vial. And what they don't use, they store for you. And you can come back in six months and they'll just retouch it up again. So you get about a year and it doesn't cost what Botox does. If you break it down every four months, uh, I'm not ready for that yet. Someday. I'm not going to say I'm never going to do it again. But we'll see. Anyway, you know, the squirrel wanted to get a highlighter and I wanted a cream highlighter. And... I got this one here from, this is, oh, I forgot her name. Is it on here? Darcy. I, because I took it out of the box. Well, the name of the color is Electric Love. DM's at the top. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the, um, I can't believe it's not on here. Oh, Danessa, Danessa Myricks. So, it comes in a tube like this, and it's like a pinky, rose goldy, champagne-y color. If you could see that. That's better, right? So, you put a little on my hand. And we will just tap it out a little bit. And it just gives a really nice, and it's creamy. So again, that powder's not gonna sit on top of my skin. So, let's see. I don't know if you could see the the glow on it. It's the camera's not picking it up. It's there. Trust me. I'm not lying. It's there. You can see it on my finger. And it just gives a real pretty, oh, I wish you could see it, a real pretty pinky champagne-y color. Um, uh, not color. Shimmer. Not shimmer either. It looks dewy. It looks, it's just pretty. Okay. All right. Then, I wanted to get a new mascara. Now, the mascara I use now is, I think it's called Grande MD, because I also use their Lash Enhancing Serum, which, by the way, you guys, works. I can't get lashes done because I don't have the time. Um, the girl who does my brows, and they need to be done. I haven't done them. I don't even have my color in them today. Um, she also does lashes and <sighs> gotta sneeze Achoo! excuse me um you know I've talked to her about the lashes and I also do her nails and she's like Chris she says you would never have the time to keep up on them um because basically you gotta go like every two weeks and get them done so I, she suggested this lash serum because my lashes are real tiny skin, tiny, tiny little lashes. I started using that on my grandkids. I don't want to do that. On my life, I swear to you, this stuff works. Like I grew lashes. I don't know if you could see. I don't know if you could tell. Anyway, I don't have much mascara on either. Blew me away. Blew me away. So, I was also using the mascara that pairs with that. Well, I'm almost out. And I thought, you know what? Let me try a new mascara. So, in the past, my go-tos for mascara outside of the Grande MD um, Lash uh, Mascara, I used to use... Benefit Cosmetics, uh, Yes They're Real, which is also a very good mascara, and Dior, um, is it Dior Show? I think it was called Dior Show. I used to use those two a lot. So, 
I was in Sephora today and I had the girl that was, you know, assisting me with my color. She said right now, she said, this is her go-to. She loves it. Um, she says, and right now it's a big seller at Sephora and it's from Rare Beauty and it's called per Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. And of course I got it in black. So we're gonna give this new mascara a try and see how it is. And I like the wand on it. I don't like the wands that have those short plastic type bristles. I like more of a full brush. I prefer that. All right, next. So after, you know, you get your face on and everything, I needed a nice translucent setting powder. powder. The one I have, or actually I've just finished it, um, I always liked Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, but I was kind of curious about this one from one size. Um, by Jeffree Star. This translucent powder is supposed to be a really good setting powder. It's very fine. So you could take, um, well, I'm not going to open this. It's a very finely milled powder. So when you get those little, um, they're like um, powder puffs and they're shaped like a triangle. You just dip in there and tap off as much excess and you can just actually press it right into the skin nice. You push it into it, you know, all your foundation. You can even go under the eye so it sets it so you don't get all that creasing and then this makeup doesn't separate in any wrinkles that are in your face. So I wanted to try a new one and I'm gonna give this one a try. If I don't care for it, I will just go buy the one I've been using, which is the Laura Mercier. Mercier, Mercier, um, uh, translucent powder. Okay, now let's go on to some eyeshadows. So I have so many eyeshadows, and you know what? I kind of wanted to start using things. I am not, some of them that I have now, I'm actually afraid to wear because I'm like, am I going to look stupid wearing this? And even though I love it, it's pretty, but I just feel like, you know, I'm trying to be a little more age appropriate. And so I haven't been wearing a lot of what I do have, a lot of bright colors. And so. I wanted to look for neutrals. So I started with, I got three of them here. Two small palettes and then a larger one. Cause gotta have those options. This one here is Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury. And very nice palette. It's a magnetic closure on there and it's, which I like. Um, I think it's a magnetic. No, it snaps. It feels magnet though. And it doesn't matter. And this is called the Super Nudes. And here they are there. They're a matte eyeshadow. Um, even though they're matte, I still want to have a little pop of a shimmer. So I also picked up This small one here from Natasha Denona because this has a few shimmers in it you know and I figure if I do it light, lightly enough just light-handed and just a little bit just to add a little bit of a shimmer I'll be okay and I do like these colors these are pretty um, and I'm not, I'm not used to wearing browns you guys I'm used to wearing like 
a lot of purple and stuff like that. But I feel like I'm getting too old for it. I, I don't know. So I, I wanted to try. Yeah. And then I got a larger palette from Natasha Denona. And this is called um, My Dream Palette. And we'll go ahead and take this out of the box. Now this has a little bit more... Um, fun colors in here and I'm thinking oh this is beautiful this is magnetic this is very pretty okay so here's this palette here now what I like about here is this one here is pretty this plum this is like a red but it's not soup it's a muted you know and then you've got some shimmers there to add some um, little pop of that excitement, you know. Yeah, so I'm excited to start playing with this. I don't know when, you know, might be going out to dinner tomorrow, so maybe I'll put a new face on. I got new hair too, you guys, but. New hair, new face. Um, it's in a headband because I just got it done yesterday and I don't like to wash my hair right away when I get it colored. So, that's that. Okay, so for my lips. Again, wanted to get something that was kind of natural. Um, Because a lot, again, a lot of the colors I have are either very dark and bright or I just want a natural lip. So I don't walk in the room and be like, whoa, you know, like I said, Chris's lips are here. And I got a lip liner because since I don't have, since I don't trust a doctor to give me lip injections that won't make me look like a duck or inner tubes on my face. I thought I could cheat my lip line a little bit with a lip liner. See you doing all they see them do it all the time on YouTube. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, anyway, I got Candy Glaze from Yves Saint Laurent. Well, what I like about this is it's not um lipstick. Dumb can't say I really care for lipstick. Um, what I like about this, this is more like a balm. In fact, it's called Double Care Balm. And when you see the tube, it's in it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Look how pretty this is. Isn't that a beautiful tube? And the color I got is. 05. I don't know. It doesn't have a color name. Doesn't it have a name? I thought it had a name. Well, I guess not. I guess not. I guess the name is 05. <laughs> um, okay, so what I like about this is it deposits color to the lip but it's not super opaque. So it's a little bit, it's got a bit of a sheerness to it, but it also has a gloss. So it's glossy, it's shiny after you put it on. Afraid to open it, because I always screw it up when I open it, see? I did, put my thumb right in it. Anyway, so this is the color. Now, when you put it on, I'm going to try to do this in the camera. I don't know. Now, so it's just, it's just a nice rosy pink but it's shiny like there's gloss on it. And yeah. And 
then the color I got, I got for my liner. It's a Makeup Forever pencil. And I don't know if this has a name. Boundless Berry. This pencil here was very, well, it doesn't look it by the cap, but with, I feel like I put that on funky. It has, it's, it's going to blend very well with the color that I bought. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's it, you guys. Go get yourself some makeup, girls. Make yourself feel good. Do something fun and exciting for yourself. Um, yeah, I'm excited to play. Now you notice I don't see, you don't see any eyeliner here. I have a lot of eyeliner, um, so I'm not at this time. I'm not going to purchase an eyeliner. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my Sephora haul, and I'm really excited. And if it wasn't like I don't know what time it is, but now nine o'clock now. If it wasn't nine o'clock right now, I'd be like washing my face, and I would do full face and play. And yeah, I'm not doing that tonight. Possibly tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and it was fun sharing all this, because I do love, love, love makeup, I love skincare, and I should have did a skincare haul when I ordered all my Korean beauty stuff, and that all came, that was fun. Um, yeah, so, there you go. Oh, and you know what, while I was at Sephora, I got to smell all the Sol de Janeiro scents. <sighs> going to be another order. I'll do that one online because I don't know if I'll drive back out to Sephora. It's not that far, but still. It, was like, it took me maybe a half hour to get there. Um, you guys, it that number 62, I, I can't even. It, I love them all. There was one I didn't care for and I can't remember the number on it. Um, I would know by the scent notes. But I would really like to go back, actually. I do want to go back. I'm not going to order online. Number 62 I could order online because that that is going to be my signature summer smell. It just, the instant I smelled it, I was just intoxicated. And, you know, like, it's, it's boom boom, which, yeah, so good. I just want to immerse myself in that. So for summertime, I think I'm going to buy, I think they have lotion and I'm gonna buy the big bottle of the spray. I am going to smell like that all summer because it's just yummy. And I'm gonna pick up a few other ones too because they were nice too. There's a real pretty vanilla one. I cannot remember the name because like a purple, I think the color's purple. It's like a purpley periwinkle color. And the smell was, it was just the most beautiful pure vanilla smell. Yeah. Check those out, guys. If you got a Sephora near you, run over there and go smell them all because they were to die for. All right. That's all I got. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who take the time to watch a video I've uploaded. It means a lot to me. And um, I will be back hopefully this by the end of this weekend. I will do a um, what I've been warming video. And I do have a Scentsy package coming. So yeah, I'll be around. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Have a great night. And we'll talk real soon. Bye.